Hi, this is Mrs. Earl with another pre-algebra tutorial. Today's topic is powers of monomials. In the first example, we have x squared raised to the third power. What that really means is x squared times x squared times x squared. We can then simply multiply the monomials together or the shortcut being add the exponents. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6, which means simplified x to the sixth power. In the second example, 2x to the fourth power, all raised to the sixth power, could be written out the long way as we did in the first example, 2x to the fourth times 2x to the fourth, 2x to the fourth, and so on and so on but there is a shorter way of solving these problems. The shortcut is to simply multiply the exponent with the raised power. So in this example, we would say x to the second power times the third power. 2 times 3 is 6, therefore we get x to the sixth power. This same shortcut works in a longer problem. You can think of this problem as 2 to the 6th power times x to the 4th power raised to the 6th power. 2 to the 6th power is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then x to the 4th power raised to the 6th power is the same thing. x to the 4th times x to the 4th times x to the 4th and so on and so on. We can then multiply these all together and we get six, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64. We then multiply the x's together by adding the exponents, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, which equals 24. The shortcut would be 2, and the exponent of the 2 is 1, times 6, because there's only 1, 2, and then multiply that by x to the 4th power times 6, which would give you 24. And now we have 2 to the 6th power, which as we said was 64, times x. 4 times 6 is 24 to the 24th power. And here's your final answer. Here's a third example. Again, using the shortcut, we could say 3 to the 3rd power, which is 27, p squared to the third power, which would be p 2 times 3, r to the third power, which would be r to the third times 3, and then t, you see no exponent, so the hidden exponent is a 1, 1 times 3. If we simplify it out, we have 27 times p to the sixth, times r to the ninth, times t to the third power. Now here's a problem for you to solve on your own. Press pause, take as long as you like to solve the problem, and then press play to watch me solve it and see if you got the answer correct. In this problem, we could repeat 5a to the fourth, b to the third, 10 separate times, but that would take way too long. So instead, we simply say 5 to the 10th times a to the 4th times 10th times b to the 3rd times 10th. We can then simplify that. 5 to the 10th Putting in my commas, that would be the hundreds, thousands, millions, billions. So 50 billion, A to the 40th, B 
to the 30th. And that's your answer. Hope this helps.